Hi, I'm Adora, a content designer here at KiwiCo. And today we are building the slime circuits. It's time to unleash the power of electrified slime. Part A, build the power station. First, grab your base and two hook and loop dots. Peel off and stick here and here. Next, pull out the top sticker from the dots. Then grab the battery pack, pull out the plastic tab and stick. You may need to press hard. Now, place the cord in this slot. You should hear a click. Grab the RGB LED. Carefully separate the legs and be sure to be very gentle when bending the LED legs. Now, bend the bulb forward and bend the long leg up. Next, attach the long leg to the cord, like so. Keep the short legs in this order, red, green, blue. You'll start connecting them to the color probes in the next step. Now grab the red probe, connect it to the red short leg of the LED. Then grab the green and blue probes. Connect to the other short legs. Make sure the colors match. Okay, press the black connectors into the grips. All right. Place the light diffuser here. Keep the dome face up. Make sure you don't squish the wires here. Next, store the color probes in these slots. And the battery probe goes here. Make sure the battery is turned off. You'll turn it on later during the slime experiments. Yay! You built a power station! Part B, build the box. Alright, grab these two wooden pieces and connect them here. Next, grab this wooden piece with a hole and a yellow clip. Click them together. Now add a clip to the wooden piece with the KiwiCo logo. This logo should be facing this way. Let's add two clips, here and here. Next, attach that piece to the box. Our first stop and check. Make sure the bottom tabs line up with the sides and there are no gaps anywhere. All right, let's add the tray. The Kimco logo should face up. Yay, you made the box. Part C, make slime. All right, before you start, cover your work surface with the mess mat and put on gloves. Lay out the empty jar, glue, slime activator, liquid colors, and baking soda. Okay, grab the glue and the empty jar. Poke the seal on the glue and add all the glue to the jar.
there are a bunch of colors you can choose for your slime. Here's a handy chart to help you out. I'm gonna go with light blue. For light blue, I'm gonna add five blue drops and one yellow drop. Now, once you've decided, add the colors you want and stir. Mix until all the color is blended in. Next, add all the baking soda and stir. Again, mix until all the powder is blended in. Let's take a short science break. You're about to make a chemical reaction. When you whip up a batch of slime, you're working with polymers, which are basically really big molecules made up of a bunch of smaller molecules that are linked together in a long chain. The glue contains a polymer called PVA, which by itself isn't slimy, but when you add the activator that causes a chemical reaction, making the glue molecules link up together. This stops those polymers from sliding by each other, making stretchy slime. All right, now that we know more about polymers, let's get out our slime activator. Poke a hole in the top. Now add about half to your jar. Stir quickly and mix until mostly blended in. Then stretch your slime, dip it back in and twist. Repeat this five times. Now pour in the rest of the slime activator and stir quickly. Okay, let's stretch, dip, and twist again. We'll do this five more times. Time for a stop and check. When your slime starts to look like this, it's time to use your hands. Try to soak up as much of the liquid as possible. You can tell it's time when you stretch the slime and it's about as long as your arm. All right, squish, squeeze, and repeat until you get something like this. Now dunk the slime in the jar Mix as much of the liquid into your blob as you can. Then stretch and fold your slime. Repeat this five times. All right, squish and squeeze your slime blob. It's okay if there's some liquid left, but use as much liquid as possible. Yay, you made the slime. Now that your build is done, let's experiment. First up, let's make a slime circuit. All right, turn your battery pack on. Grab your slime from part C, make it into a ball shape, and place the slime on your tray. All right, grab the green probe and place it in the slime. Now add the battery probe would you look at that? It's turning green. Now slowly stretch out the slime between the probes. It looks like the light's getting dimmer. Can you see it too? Don't forget to turn off your battery when you're done. When you stretch the slime, the light gets dimmer. That's because electricity has to travel through more slime to reach the LED. Now, the slime activator conducts electricity, but the glue is a resistor. A resistor resists the flow of electricity, limiting the amount of electricity that can flow through your circuit. So, as the slime stretches and the probes get farther apart, the electricity has to travel through more of that resistant glue, which means the LED gets less power. You can think of it like this. Little slime equals low resistance and bright light. 
lots of slime equals high resistance and dim light. It's some pretty cool stuff, but let's get back to our build. Next, let's do color mixing. Let's turn the battery pack back on, then turn the tray around so the notches are on the bottom. Grab your slime again and place it on the tray in a log shape. Now add all the wire probes to the slime. Now move the probes around in the slime. Can you make the light shine in your favorite color? And when you're done, turn off the battery pack. But if you want to keep experimenting, you're in the right place. You can try out other types of slimes or even fruits and vegetables like a banana. You can see more ideas in our crate cover. Okay, so what exactly is happening here? The LED changes when you move the probes. That's because you're changing the amount of power flowing to the red, green, and blue lights. The closer a color probe is to the battery probe, the less resistance in the circuit. That means more power flows to the probe's light, making it shine very bright. Now, should you skim along the surface or dig really deep? The way you touch the slime with the probes affects the resistance along with the type of colors you get. So just keep experimenting. If you run into trouble while playing and setting up your experiments, I've got you. If your slime isn't mixing, you might need to stir and knead it some more. Try stirring for at least five minutes and make sure you've blended as much of the liquid as possible. Still having trouble? Go back to part C, steps eight through 11 for the best way to mix the slime. If the slime isn't stretching or feels dried out, you may need to warm it up after taking it out of the container, especially if you haven't played with the slime for a while. Knead and fold the slime for five minutes, then try again. If the LED doesn't turn on or doesn't change color as expected when you touch it with the probe, check if the battery probe is touching the slime. This is necessary for creating a complete circuit. If it is, then make sure the LED legs are pressed all the way into the wire connectors. Try taking them out and pushing them back in. Then make sure at least one color probe is touching the slime. When you're done playing, we've made it easy for you to pack everything up and store your supplies so you can use them again. Get rid of all the liquid color making ingredients. Now, there is a lot of cool science happening with slime and circuits. Did you know that electricity flows kind of like water, but it can't just flow in a line, it has to flow in a circle. And if anything blocks or breaks that loop, the electricity can't flow through. A complete closed loop path for electricity is called a circuit, and a circuit connects electrical things to a power source. Now slime is a conductor, which means electricity can flow through it, which explains why you can use slime to complete a circuit. So the next time you turn on the lights or use a toaster, you may not be using slime, but electricity is still flowing in a circuit. Thanks so much for building with us. If you wanna see more videos like this, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Unleash the, <laughs> Unleash the power. The electricity will not flow. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and dim light. So really cool. <laughs>